what's going on beautiful people it is i your favorite dimply chocolate best friend and i'm back with another video for you if this is your first time watching my videos hi my name is rika i make videos here on youtube about a life change journey that i started about 15 years ago where i'm on a quest to not only better myself but love people from a space of love and not a space of trauma as well as losing 710 pounds so if you'd like to watch me fail and succeed at the same time click subscribe turn on your post notifications we instantly become best friends when you do that we get to know each other by me telling you about me in the videos and you telling me about you in the comments and we just kind of you know bond and support each other along the way so subscribe if that sounds like something you'd be interested in Happy Wednesday, beautiful people. It is another Wednesday. I am here to talk weight loss, of course. I don't have an updated weight. Uh, I did not even weigh myself this week. I am super duper swollen after all of the walking this weekend. So I wasn't even going to play myself like that, if you will. But I really didn't see it necessary because I doubt I've lost anything. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I'm kind of on a once a month basis, maybe twice a month every other week. But I didn't take the opportunity to do that. And it just was because I really... Yeah, I don't see the point in it, you know what I mean? Because I know I can feel the change in my body uh, when it changes, and I just, I feel heavier this week. And like I said, that was probably because we walked a lot this weekend. I probably killed about 24,000 steps throughout the course of like a day and a half. So, um... Yeah, I um, know that I'm swollen. My lymphedema never does well when I increase something, which is probably why I'm not seeing a drop in weight uh, on the weeks that I do raise my cardio levels because my legs just don't like it. Um, they're still super swollen and it is, you know, a couple of days after me doing all the walking. So I have taken off my workouts as well. Um, I've still gotten in the you know, um, of walking in general, I've still, you know, tried my best to at least get 15 to 20 minutes in every day, but I have not been doing the two mile, you know, bust my ass workout that I was doing. Um, and I just, I haven't lifted any weights. I haven't done anything like that. I've just kind of been taking some time off to allow my body to adjust and heal. You know what I mean? Because I have pain every day, but this was a different level of pain. It was almost to the point where I couldn't stand. So I've just been trying to, you know, listen to my body, pay attention to the signs so that I don't overexert myself and end up with a cast on my foot or, you know, some kind of issue that has to be surgically fixed. And I'm just completely being honest with you guys and telling y'all where I am at as far as that goes. Which further brings me to my plan for the next couple of months. Uh, we are now approaching the next quarter. Um, it will be April 1st in like a day. So um, I am trying to think of a plan for the goals that I have for the next four months. You know, I like to think in, you know, four month increments. It just makes me feel better. You know what I mean? It makes mentally more sense to me. So for the next quarter, I'm going to strictly work out Monday through Friday. Um, I feel like if I'm super strict with myself Monday through Friday and I give myself the weekend to kind of take some time off, uh, that'll be better for me to, you know, kind of find a balance for myself. I think that, you know, it'll feel better to me. Um, and I think that it kind of makes more sense for me, uh, <laughs> if you will. Um, to be honest, uh, I'm just trying to find a way to balance being hard on myself because, you know, I can easily eat pizza every day. Um, you know, so to avoid that being hard on myself and giving myself room to not have to be as strict. I feel like long-term success comes with that balance. So I'm trying to find that balance. For, so for the month of April, I'll just be working out Monday through Friday and I'll be taking the weekends off. I'll still be doing keto, you know, along the way because I feel like keto is just going to be the move, but I'm not going to be as strict on my carbs and stuff Saturday and Sunday. I'm just not going to, you know, be harsh with myself in that way because I'm just trying to to find some sort of balance. I, I talked about it in Monday's video, you know, trying to find a balance for my life is probably my biggest goal right now, you know, where I don't feel like I'm not doing enough, but I don't 
put too much pressure on myself and overexert myself or overwhelm myself in any way. So trying to find that balance is the goal for the month of April. If it doesn't feel well, I'll adjust in May and, you know, we'll keep it moving. But the ultimate goal is to get this 56 pounds off of me um, and get down to 250. I would, like I said, love to do that by my birthday. I think it's realistic, but with my body, I am not 100% sure anymore. Uh, I'm still trying to navigate this whole new hormone thing that I have going on. Um, and I'm still trying to, you know, work with my body as much as I can. Um, but, um, you know, I'm still also trying to implement changes because I feel like, you know, maybe I need to do a little bit more of this or a little bit less of that. I'm just, you know, trying to find the balance. That's ultimately what I'm trying to say to you guys. I mentioned in the last video as well that there was a supplement that I was taking that was making me emotional and it in fact was the Goli ashwagandha. Now, um, if you have thyroid issues, ashwagandha can play on your anxiety a bit and I started getting that little anxious feeling and the tightness of the chest or whatever and I noticed that my heart rate was raising you know because my watch was alerting me all the time um which you know is kind of the opposite of what this is actually supposed to do as you can see it says relax and uh restore and unwind so I don't know why it works that way but after a quick little google um I saw on a thyroid um uh, based website that this can play a huge role in causing some crazy side effects until it fully works into your system but I am of the class of people where if something makes me feel bad I'm just not going to take it so um I do however you know on a positive side think that this gave me some amazing energy uh, I was able to bang out like 12,000 steps one day taking this stuff um, and I would take it three times a day so basically what I did was I just kind of weaned myself off of it uh, I was taking one three times a day so then I dropped to twice a day and then I dropped to once a day for a couple of days and then I just stopped taking it after a while so it's been a couple of days I'm already feeling better the tightness in my chest is going away and, um, you know, things are getting back to normal. Now, um, also, Dubs has a thyroid issue, and she takes them as well, and she doesn't have any symptoms like that. So, I guess it's just for me um, and my body and the way that, you know, my genetic makeup is put together. It does not like ashwagandha like that. It likes it for the energy because it felt like I was drinking coffee when I was taking this stuff. But um, it just didn't work for me. So that is not to say that this is not a good supplement. I highly recommend it. I mean, like I said, if you have a thyroid issue or some type of hormonal issue, maybe PCOS or something like that, consult with your doctor before you start taking it. And I would say start very slow. See how you feel for a couple weeks and then increase to what they suggest, which is take two gummies twice daily. So, yeah, that's this is what I was talking about when I said that. But, yeah, I just wanted to mention that so you guys would know what supplement I was referring to because I've told you guys about a ton of supplements um, on this channel so far. But, yeah, that's all I have for this video, though. I just wanted to pop in with an update that really isn't an update, but just kind of talk to you guys about where my head is as far as where I'm going and you know, what I want to do with my health. Okay. So yeah, thank you so, so very much for watching. I love you so very much. If nobody told you today, you are so important to this world. Please continue to exist because we need your love and your light to be here. Okay. We need you so very much. So please continue to exist. I love you so much. Please take care of yourself because if you don't, no one else will. And I will catch you guys on Friday with the vlog from the past weekend slash couple of days. So yeah. See y'all on Friday. Peace.